Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Wasil Bay, man. What's going on? We been having fun. It's 1.23 in the morning. Y'all should get this round by, I don't know, it's about 2 o'clock, 2.15. You know what I'm saying? With my cup at. It's going to be a, in another intellectual, intellectual ass whooping. You know what I'm saying? Let me go on and jump in. It's this nigga pussified. This nigga do not like people to win. If he if he ain't did the testimony, then you ain't getting off of child support because he's not off of child support. This nigga still paying. He got his clients paying. I already put up proof that he's still on, right? And when he see our videos, he's coming over here looking at shit, being jealous. You know, beta male shit, all them niggas. This, this is who... He is. He's Wendy Williams and Stink Miner put together. Every nigga moment begins with the nigga. Without that key element, all you're left with is peace and quiet. Colonel H. Stink Miner is and always has been a cantankerous, ornery old man. There you go. He has spent his childhood disagreeing with most things, especially things involving happiness, unity, and kindness. Stink Miner got no pleasure seeing sunsets and trees, dolphins, or rainbows. Man, this some more bullshit. So. <laughs> so, when fellas, he see your testimony, you know what I'm saying? Something like this. That's some old bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Fellas, keep your victories to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because you got these, these chickens out here. And you an eagle. They can't fly with you. Chickens cannot fly with eagles. Okay? Buzzards either. You hear me? Look at that. This is a this is a testimony we didn't even put up. But the state waived its whole immunity and everything for our client to come in and sue. They sent him this. Hey, if you want to sue, here you go. Yeah, look at it. Yeah. So this nigga preaching us do something in the state to sue in the state, but none of his clients got this stuff. Look at that. You see that? This is a tort claim. The state waived to be sued. You see that? Client couldn't believe he got this shit. And this was this was last year, fellas. I got so much shit to put up. You know what I'm saying? You got niggas that's jealous. And can't do this shit. They want us to do this shit for free. No, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Tell you bitch niggas. You know? Shit. Nerds ruling this bitch. That nigga wish he can get this shit. Look at that. That was his shit right here. He signed that shit. He's still paying child support. The niggas over there is paying his child support. If you got service from this nigga, you paying his child support. Tell a nigga to call an agency again, you know, because he ain't got shit else to do. Make useless shit. The straw man shit. Oh, he was an apartment case right here. Check this shit out. He said he wanted his apartment case, right? Here you go. I got it. I told that nigga we got all his shit. Nigga, you wanna you playing with the wrong niggas, dog. You playing with the wrong one. Look at this shit. Dismissal upon stipulated terms, rule 3506B. Date file, amount five thousand. You know what I'm saying? He didn't get $5,000. They just took some shit off the rent. 
Look at that shit. Judgments type dismissed. Attorney fee zero 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 zero. That nigga ain't getting no money. Where the check at? Prove me wrong and show us the check, nigga. Shut me up and show us the check. If you got that check, hey man, kudos to you. If you got that five racks, kudos to you, dog. You know what I'm saying? Show us that shit. Show us some proof, nigga. You want to talk about some proof, nigga? Show us some proof, nigga. Let me go through your videos, though. Oh, okay. We will, let us read what it says. Okay. Dismissal upon stipulated terms. If an action is settled upon written stipulated terms and dismissed, the action may be reopened at any time or request. What action may be open? I thought y'all stipulated some terms. Oh, they gave y'all some free rent or something because your bitch ass wasn't supposed to be on the lease, right? 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 You weren't supposed to be on the lease. That's why you and your baby mama running, right? Making all that goddamn noise, disturbing your neighbor, talking about they harassing you. Nigga, you live in they shit, nigga. Go build you a house or something, dog. Now, they said they was going to offer him $5,000, right? Listen to this shit, okay? When they offer you something, when the judge and them offer you something, you better take it because you ain't going to get nothing. Hey, what up? episode of Wendy Williams, someone in this room was the topic of discussion. And that would be you, Brat. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> I like the Brat. That's <clears throat> pussy fire right carefully. here, too. <laughs> the Brat owes the woman that she attacked with a brown liquor bottle. Uh-huh. You know, they made a thick glass. <laughs> And she was ordered to pay uh, the woman, Shayla, $6.4 million. But the brat hasn't paid a dime. You know, I like Dish Nation. But I'm sure they're not pay paying a lot. You know, it's a little lunch money over there or something like that. I lunch money! <laughs> Eight million dollars. Eight million dollars. This woman deserves something. Lord have mercy. Now, where do I start? I don't know. Because it wasn't a lot of reason. Let me not do the Tyrese and talk too much. Okay. First, she said she liked me. Yeah. Okay. I like you too, bitch. Um, before I went to court, I was going to give her, before the whole jail thing happened, she was going to get two, three hundred thousand. Okay. The day I was supposed to go to court, she wanted more. So I pulled the money back like, no, 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 no. I'd rather just go to jail, do the time, and do what I have to do. <clears throat> so that is what I did. Now, as far as her not getting paid. Did you hear that? One more game. Before the whole jail thing happened, she was going to get two, three hundred thousand. Okay. Now, if somebody offer you two hundred, three, two hundred. Three hundred thousand dollars, and you going for five million? Would you take that money? I'm gonna tell you something. Because if you don't take that money, you ain't gonna get no more money. They got a special rule for that home, boy. Y'all need to do research and look that shit up, okay? Because you got this nigga talking about five thousand dollars, and I'm gonna show you this nigga walked away with nothing, lying motherfucker. Because he ain't put up no check or nothing. I ain't seen no check. Show me. Shut me up. Show us a check, nigga. Listen to this shit. The day I was supposed to go to court, she wanted more. So I pulled the money back like, no, 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 no. I'd rather just go to jail, do the time, and do what I have to do. <clears throat> now, if the brat would have sit up there and offered me that, I would have took that shit and ran with it. Right? Because I'm not no greedy ass dude. Now, look at this shit here. Shalom, YouTube. This is Josh Magnified. Come back for another video. This video is uh, basically just letting you guys know what else I'm doing. You know, uh, not only am I coming out the child support, I'm also suing my apartment. Okay, he coming out the child support. He ain't off child support. And complex for harassment and everything. So, this is their notice that they sent to me from the court.
basically stating that it's a notice of intention to defend, so they want to defend themselves in court because I already filed my documents into the court on the suit before I can sue. It's a small claims court, though. I'm not suing them for that much, but the trial is on the 14th, as you can see. Uh, July 14, 2017 at 8.45 a.m. in courtroom 162B. So we're going to have a good case with that. And then when that's over with, I'll let you guys know how that went or what was the outcome of that. 5000 But most likely, you know, it should be a cakewalk in the park. You know, it's easy money. So as you can see, it's, you know, my name is at the top. I'm the plaintiff versus the apartment complex, they're the defendant. So as you can see, it says notice of intention to defend. Then it says the named defendant, uh, blank management, by and through his undersigned. Nah, the bitch, you ain't gotta read that. You ain't gotta read it, we got your shit, dog. Right here, Edgewood Management, my nigga. You were suing these people for five racks, say Ter Terry Parks. Stipulated terms, rules. Stipulated what terms, nigga? Would they gonna let your bitch ass continue to stay there? With the bed bugs and shit? I don't know. I don't know. Shit. Fuck it. Now let's go to your apartment two lawsuit, right? I'm back with another video. This video is titled Part Two of My Apartment Lawsuit. So with that being said, let's get to the subject matter at hand. Okay, but before I go in on what happened today in the courtroom, I like to state that man, I've been having good news since last night. So it started last night with my good news. So then I get in court today, you know, they wanted to settle out early before I can even see the judge, you know. So I'm sitting there waiting for the trial to start and a lawyer from the apartment complex here called. First off, you ain't gonna have no trial, my nigga, on no apartment suit, my nigga. You ain't, ain't no juries in there, you dumbass nigga. First off, name. Then I said, you know, I said I'm right here. Then he said, walk up. He said, walk out. Um, he said, he said, walk out to the hallway with me. I said, okay, cool. So we go out in the hallway, and he was like, uh, well, we really want to try to settle this matter. You know, see if we can come to some type of agreement. Well, nigga, why you didn't go to the check? Ain't no check, bro. You know, meet somewhere down the middle. I said, okay, cool. So he said his offer. Then I said, nah, you know, I said, I, I want a little bit more than that. So I gave him a counter offer. And with the. Whole jail thing happened. She was going to get two, three hundred thousand. Okay. The day I was supposed to go to court, she wanted more. So I pulled the money back like, no, 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 no. I'd rather just go to jail, do the time, and do what I have to do. <clears throat> See, we come to some type of agreement, you know, meet somewhere down the middle. I said, okay, cool. So he said his offer. Then I said, nah, you know, I said, I, I want a little bit more than that. So I gave him a counter offer. And with the counter offer, he accepted the counter offer. Well, they accepted the counter offer because he had to call and make sure that was acceptable to the to his class. So his class said, "Oh yeah, that's cool." So when we go back into the court, you know, the judge called our name, you know, and then the lawyer for the apartment complex he started speaking first, and he told the judge that, "Hey, you know, we came to an agreement, and they would like to settle the matter." So they went. So the judge said. The judge asked me, was I cool with the settlement offer? I said, yeah, I'm cool with that, yes. So the judge granted that to me, okay? So my paperwork should be coming in probably this week or next week because they got to mail it to me. So when they mail it to me, I'll, I'll be providing that up here for proof so you guys can see that I did go in there and I did what I said I was going to do. I was going to go in there and I was going to... Now listen to the tone of his voice on this video. Hello, on YouTube. This is Jaws Magnified. Coming back with another video. This video is just proof uh, of the outcome of my apartment. Why don't say apartment lawsuit win, nigga? Proof of what? So, so with that being said, let's get to the subject matter at hand. 
Okay, as you can see at the top of the screen, that's the court I went to. And underneath that is the case number. You can see my name, you know, and you can see that I'm versus the apartment complex. So I'm suing them because my name's at the top and their name's at the bottom. So I brought the lawsuit to court. And this is the outcome of the lawsuit, or this is what happened in the lawsuit. It says, July 14th, 2017, the court is advised that the parties have dismissed this case upon stipulated terms on July 14th, 2017, under Rule 3-506B. If an action is settled upon written stipulated terms and dismissed, the action may be reopened at any time upon request of any party to the settlement to enforce the stipulated terms Okay, so if you got money, why they talking about coming back to court, my dude? Five racks. You asked for five racks, dog. Look at this shit. Is awarded to the dismiss with prejudice. Is awarded to the, then you got dismissed with prejudice. Plus damage is zero, damage is zero, cost zero, 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 zero. So, man, just bring out the contract. Was you supposed to be on a lease or what? I don't know. Do you live with your baby? Are you running the town, skipping town? You know what I'm saying? Edgewood Apartments. D.C. Maryland. Hmm. Claim type contract. That's what it was about, the contract. You know what I'm saying? What happened, dude? Let's, let us see. Make me out a lie. So let's, let's show us the check, dog. You know what I'm saying? You victorious and shit. Excuse me. Show us the check. You know what I'm saying? But, you know I gotta rub this in your face, right? Oh, I got some more cold shit to rub in your face. I try to give your bitch ass a chance to redeem yourself and stop. But just keep doing what you're doing, big dog. Keep, keep making the ass out yourself. Look at that. Look at that. Notice of tort claim against the county, my nigga. Look at that shit. Huh? Where is your shit at, nigga? Huh? This the winner circle, dog. This is the winner circle. For every nigga that come over here honest, they gonna get off, they gonna get what they want. But if you niggas come over here and leave shit out, you ain't telling us what's going on, you know what I'm saying? That federal court case gonna tell what's going on. You can win. You can win anywhere, fellas. So a man think it, so is he. This nigga talking about remedies and he ain't got nobody no remedy yet? What? What you got? Where is that, man? Where the refunds at? Where the refund checks, my nigga? Where your cat? Where your money at for the for that court case? We're gonna do your ticket next. Go on, take that video down, pussy. Go on, take it down, my nigga. Look at this shit though. In your face, my nigga. Chickens cannot fly with eagles, my nigga. You are a chicken, nigga. Chicken head, nigga. Fellas, we're gonna do a video either tomorrow or Monday about trust. Okay?
Be looking out for that. Why should you have a trust? These niggas, this is going to go fall over these niggas' heads. Why should you create a trust? He come out, I got the ticket thing, and we got it, we're gonna expose all his uh, so-called wannabe case dismissals, and all them niggas still paying child support too. So fellas, remember, you don't follow niggas that pay child support if you wanna get off. You follow niggas that don't pay child support. And I'm gonna tell you something. I really get advice from an arrogant asshole than a scared bitch ass nigga. Alright? So we just gonna keep it like that. I'd rather get advice from an arrogant motherfucker, a cocky motherfucker, a nigga that ain't scary advice. That's them the people I go to. I don't go for little uh little scary sissy ass boy niggas. I don't I don't fuck with niggas like that. I ain't built like that. I was raised from the military. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, hit us up. Look at this shit. The state waved to be sued, my nigga. What's up? Hit us up. Peace.